एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी चैनल नॉलेज स्टार्ट कंटिन्यूअस नॉलेज एक्सीलेंस माय नेम इज अंशिका गौर दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल मेथड्स फॉर हेवी मेटल रिमूवल व्हिच विल बी एक्सप्लेन्ड बाय आर एक्सपर्ट प्रोफेसर बोहेदार हु इज एसोसिएटेड विद नेशनल सेंटर एक्सीलेंस इन एग्रो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी टेरी डाइकन नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर इंडिया ही हैज 31 इयर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च His area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics and biophysics. Consequently, to acquire all the information, watch the entire video without skipping. So whatever said I said earlier, I am just pictorially depicting here. On the left panel, you can see that this is the effluent here then there are suspensions or the coagulating agents are added here then this creates a forces the pollutants to adsorb onto the surface of the coagulant and then finally it se separates out through a phase separation process and these solids are all sitting at the bottom and then you have the supernatant which ideally should be the clean solvent in many times should be the clean water but this has solved only partially the problem of pollution because the microbes are still there in the supernatant there may be a lot of chemicals which are not they are not responsive in response seep to this coagulation issue and they will stay in the supernatant same thing with the microbes they will continue to stay in the supernatant next is the if there are charged ions then you, of course you can do a dialysis experiment which is a standard experiment in the lab so in the industrial sector on a large scale one does of dialysis under the electric field it's called electrodialysis dialysis wait 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 are you worried about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. So you have dialysis membranes, you dialyzed against clean water to take out the pollutant metal ions from the effluent third one is the membrane technique use ion specific membranes and trap some kinds of ions some types of ions from it but rest other ions will escape through the process and the problem is only partially solved fourth one is the adsorption issue as i have said earlier you have large surface area materials and allow your molecules or the pollutant molecules whatever they can be organic inorganic or microbes settle down it and normally activated charcoal is utilized for this thing because it's cheap to use but large surface area is a porous material so it does this job very efficiently in many of the cases now i have written a word nano here which basically means we are going to use these conventional methods on a nano platform and try to intervene there how do we, we do it that we'll see subsequently during the course of this presentation i hope you like this video here i would like to give you an important information that nano science and technology consortium organized the nano technology workshops on very interesting topics also i would like to tell you about the initiatives of nstc in which you can also be a part of joint project development research projects consultancy services nano materials for your research projects training programs or customized training programs workshops or customized workshops so that's all if you are interested in watching these kind of videos then please do comment we will definitely reach out to you subscribe to the channel knowledge start and hit the bell icon to never ever miss an update thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.